Hi all my gorgeous friends and family. Uh, this little video is going to be about clabber. And uh, we've talked, I've done uh, various different videos about uh, all sorts of milk products. And uh, clabber is a very simple uh, yogurt, really. And um, it's what you call a mesophilic yogurt. So it is made uh, in, in room temperature. Uh, so it's basically just milk that's soured. So it's raw milk from the cow, and the raw milk from the cow has all these wonderful uh, nutrients and just gorgeous things that are so good for us. And also it has probiotics. And the cow uh, has her own probiotics on her body, and it comes from what she eats. and. So uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, for each cow, wherever she is, it's quite di it's a bit different uh, which types of probiotics she has. So in old times, when they just had a few cows and they made um, cheese locally, which they do some places in, on the earth still, uh, they make a special cheese that has a, a unique taste because because of the probiotics that are in this area. Uh, so this. The clabber I've made is is Englemark clabber is is uh, just uh, what you can say is is um, uh, the probiotics that are living in this area that are from our cow. So and I think it's been really successful and I'm, I'm very surprised about the taste how lovely it is. So I've made different types and I just. Uh, Get a little bit closer with the camera. Show it to you. Uh, move my eyes. These here are just really milk that I get the flowers in there. We need flowers. I just poured milk into these uh, into these little bowls yesterday, and I put a plate on them, and you can see the cream on the top here. And this is what's happened to it. Uh, sometimes it actually takes a little bit more than 24 hours, depending on how warm it is. But that's how thick it, it has become. And uh, sometimes it will actually clabber uh, within 12 hours, and it will be quite mild, very, very delicious. This is a little bit more sour. And so as soon as it's actually gone thick, you can put it in the fridge and just stop the process. Or, or um, yeah, the souring process will go down a lot when you put it in the fridge. So you sort of, it will still sour in the fridge, but just very, very slowly. So you can sort of monitor uh, which taste you like. And this one was uh, milk, just fresh milk yesterday, where I put, uh, I put some, some, some of the clab I had, which I, I thought was uh, really delicious. And I inoculated it because when you have a large portion like this, it can take quite a while for it to sour. So when you put some some uh, clabber that some that's already soured into the milk, the process goes quicker. So look how beautiful and thick this is. <laughs> it's just so wonderful. And see what happens is it is the milk sugar, the lactose, is eaten by all the probiotics that are in the milk. And uh, so, so they're taking the sugar away, and they're making babies. So they're making more probiotics, and that makes the milk go sour, and the souring process thickens it. So you have this wonderful, the most simple yogurt you can make, clabber or mesophilic yogurt. So now I've made a new portion here for today, and I've actually covered it with some baking paper because I find sometimes it gets a little bit yeasty on the top. So I've just put this on, and I've actually, you can wash it and just use it again. And I know they do that in, in India, uh, where it's, to keep the dirt, dust out of the yogurt they make, they put this little um, piece of paper on. So we can try blending it, which is what I do in the morning. Thank you. 
spoon out. I need to get today than it was yesterday. Uh, so it does vary. Oh, this is also quite runny. But I made a portion yesterday which was very thick. So this is a uh, clabber that they used to make in old times and really the basis uh, of cheese making. So they couldn't go to the shops. So they would make their own clabber and use that when they wanted to make cheese. Yeah, they had their own mesophilic yogurt. So uh, take care and see you soon. Mm, delicious. <laughs> I just want to add uh, a little bit about clabber. And uh, I can show you this portion here that is uh, made out of uh, dexter milk. Um, and what I uh, just want to add, well you can see it, I'll just show it to you closely. Just show you how, how thick it is. So you have the cream here. The top. And then here, the actual clabbered milk. So what I just wanted to add is that uh, when you when your milk has thickened, you can see that that the clabbering or what do you call it has has uh, finished, so it's gone thick. Uh, as soon as it's done that, you can put it in the fridge, and then it will uh, just like with all other uh, souring uh, milk products, it will become thicker. Uh, the end product will become thicker because there's an an extra process going on when when the whole all the clabber cools down. So that's what I did last night. I had this out all on the kitchen uh, desk all day, and at night it was thick, and then I put it in the fridge, and now I've taken it out here in the morning, and so it's uh, it's really thick. So that just uh, makes your clabber even more creamy. And uh, we'll talk some more about the Dexter milk. See you later. <laughs>